always say that it's not a lot. Because what, what's the numbers? The, what, 25% of black women are married around that 25%? We, we didn't say married. I said relationships. Now, the marriage comes whether or not he asked her to marry him. Well, you, well that doesn't daughter, help. So what that saying? doesn't help you if you're just dating. Right. So what your you you your argument was average women aren't giving average men a chance. But if she's in a relationship with you, she's giving you a chance. If she's having sex with you, she's giving you a chance. <laughs> if have, have you guys heard on the panel, men and some women say that the uh, small percentage of men are getting the majority of women. Have you guys heard that before? Uh, yes, I've heard that. Okay, so how how is it that the majority of men are having this same access if women are only doing it to a small percentage? Yes, but but that that argument is debunked if you sit here and you have a, a conversation with majority of the men and they've been in a relationship before. That means somebody dated you. <laughs> somebody gave you a chance. You just did not want that person. Yes, you just did not want that person. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> okay, <laughs> but if 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 you're if you're a woman and your mind frame is I want the highest percentage of guy, that means when you get with that average guy, you're already going into that situation as this is not going to be serious. He can get some, but I'm not going to take him serious. What? So that means that she's playing with him. I don't deny that there are women out here playing. I, I absolutely agree with that. Um, I think that there are people out here playing with people. But if we're talking about that, if the argument is men are not getting opportunities with women, now it may not be the top because because just like you are saying that women want a top percentage of men, women, men, I mean men, men want a top percentage of women is just in the looks department. Okay, it is. No. It's, so so listen. That's not true. Yes, it is. You know why? Because you just said that men are in relationships with women that they don't want. So will a guy for, take they're looking a, a, a woman from 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 McDonald's? You said what? You said most what men that I know who got a woman from McDonald's, they're on the same level. He he was at the fries and she was at the register. I don't typically see a huge um, difference in terms of a top one percent man married to a person who they met at McDonald's. And, and the this stats is not that. true. This is this is not name true. One. Like the stats. So name the one. Stats Look, one. Okay. Name Look, one. I'm gonna go RIP. RIP the Kobe. Who is that? we saw what happened? Who did Kobe have sex with? The hotel clerk years ago. I know That's you guys sex. probably remember that. That's sex. If we know that they'll have groupies, like that. That's what I'm talking about. No, we're talking about marriage. You're talking about sex. We're talking about marriage. Those are two different things. Men will we know you. We know you, will, you know you will bump anything. Come on. Now. Right. <laughs> we, there, there's no argument there. We definitely right. know men will screw the somebody that works at, you know, McDonald's, but it's they're not married. It. Yeah. He didn't marry. Kobe didn't but marry the McDonald's worker. You said the man don't want average, wouldn't take an average girl from McDonald's. I was responding to that. I, no, we didn't. No, 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 she meant marriage. No, no. We you, the, the the argument was you what the the upper one percent. We didn't say any guy because there are women who are at McDonald's who are married. That's not what we're saying. Mm -hmm. We know that women from McDonald's, people at McDonald's, get married. Mm -hmm. But when you're looking at the stats, though, I just want to get to that. What you will typically see is those who are in the same socioeconomic status are marrying each other. So typically a lot and of the one race, that's yeah. not even a black thing. That is just a world. I agree with you. Across the, yeah, across the board. So when men are giving the argument that men don't care about women with degrees or men don't care about women with money or men will marry the McDonald worker and they're, you know, a millionaire. Those situations are extreme. Those are outliers. 
that that's not reflective of the messaging that men try to push forward in these spaces because the stats don't support that. And most men, okay. in, 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 in most <laughs> men, because I, I I think I know a, a decent amount of men who are of you know they want somebody who is a reflection of them. You know, most of them have organization, nonprofit organizations. Usually, the wives are over that. This woman has to be of value to this man in some type of way. And, and I mean, she could be at McDonald's because some people work at McDonald's because they're just in an entry level job. They may have graduated and they're just, it's a stepping stone. Maybe that's the situation you're speaking of. But you're talking about somebody who just, you know, a dropout or something of that nature. I don't, that's not, I don't think that that's true at all. Is, um, if y'all agree with the, if, if y'all agree with the small percentage of guys that are getting access to the majority of women, because that's what women want. If you look at the uh, studies of, of dating sites where majority of, uh, I think it was 80% of women find majority of men unattractive. Yeah, I saw that. That means you're not getting just with just regular dudes if you don't find them attractive. That means you're not going to be trying hard enough. That means but you're not going to be cooperating with with no. these particular men. No, I think that's different when you're in a dating site space versus a real world space. So in a dating space, when you're online like that, you have access to numerous men that you can be selective with right? Versus if you living in, let's say, a small town like Alabama, you know what I'm saying? That you're not going to have, you're not going to have the same options. So your access is going to be very different. So your you choice. Get off Alabama men. Different. Alabama men are great. No, I'm, I'm just meaning. Don't you think you're setting yourself up? For what? For what? To fail. If if you're if you have that many men and you try to go for the top guys who have access to a whole bunch of women. I don't think that most women are dating top guys. Like I said, the men, the people I see outside in real time, real life are with average people. Are you are you see are you going outside and seeing women with above average men? They're giving their bodies to these men, though. They just can't keep those men. That is the issue. I think that there's a certain group of women who want these kind of men. I mean, these kind of type of men. I would not deny that. 